Hi, this is Di, the Bass Playing Mom, and I'm here to talk to you today about five reasons you should become a bass player. Have you thought about playing bass? Have you tried a little bit? Never took that second lesson? Let's talk about the five great reasons you should become a bass player. Reason number one. Playing bass is a great second instrument. Do you already play guitar? Do you play a different kind of instrument? I came to bass playing as a flute player. I was in middle school. I was in the concert band playing flute and then I picked up bass for jazz band. So bass is a great second instrument. Technically you should probably be a tuba player if you're going to play bass so that you can march in the band. Bass playing makes a great second to any instrument. Uh, if you're a keyboard player you already know about bass clef and so it's easy for you to tr transfer what you're doing with your left hand to what you're doing on the bass. If you're a guitar player you already know something about fingerings and frets and that's information you can use for playing bass. And if you play any instrument and you read music you can transfer that knowledge over to playing bass. So bass is a great second instrument. The second reason you should be a bass player. The entry level to become a bass player is not very expensive. I was in middle school, the band already had a bass, so I didn't even have to buy an instrument to become a bass player. In fact, at the church where I play, there are a couple basses that are kept in a closet. So anytime someone wants to pick up the bass and try it, they can actually get started playing for free and they can actually gig without even having bought an instrument. And I think that's true in a lot of schools. I think a lot of schools have basses. The other thing though, if you're just doing this as a hobby, this uh, short scale bass that I have here, it's a Fender Mustang, it ran around $500. And I don't think that really changes with time. Like, I think it's like a $500 instrument 10 years ago, and it'll probably be a $500 instrument 10 years from now. In the world of musical instruments, that's a pretty low entry level. There are a lot of basses around. If you buy a used bass, you can even get in cheaper. I know that there are playable basses for about $250 used. So go ahead, get yourself a bass. It's not the huge investment that some other instruments can be, you know, like a $4,000 French horn. The third reason you should be a bass player, it is fun to play. Bass is just a fun instrument to play. Your fingers don't have to get in those tiny little cramped up things they do on a guitar. And so it can be a really fun instrument to play. It's fun to play with the band. A lot of times you're locking with the drummer, so you're keeping a rhythm. And that can be really fun and you can learn cool licks. So bass can be a really fun instrument to play. I know a lot of people who play as a second play as their second instrument because it is so fun to play. The fourth reason you should become a bass player is no drama. Yes, when everyone else is fighting for creative control of the band, the bass player gets to stand calmly in the back. In fact, it's sort of a thing as a bass player to kind of fly under the radar. Like sometimes people don't notice that there is a bass player. But that has its advantages. It has the advantage that when there are problems in the band, when there's arguments and people want creative control, the bass player is usually left out of those. In fact, if they have a band meeting, they might not even invite you. And the best reason to become a bass player is the fifth reason, gigs. If you are the bass player, you are going to get the chance to play. You're going to get to play tomorrow, next week, the rest of your life. As long as they can prop you up on a stool, you will gig. And I can say you don't have to be the best bass player in the world to gig because there's so many different gigs you can play. If you're awesome and you're fast, you might play in a jazz band. If you are great at just keeping a rhythm and keeping things going, you might play in a metal band. And if you are even a mediocre bass player who can read, you're going to back up that choir. There's just so many opportunities to play. And because nobody knows what a bass is, no, some people know what it is, but not a lot of people play the bass, you will get lots and lots of opportunities to play. I have played in jazz band, stage band, pep band, choir, for third, fourth, and fifth graders, for third, fourth, and fifth grade camp, for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, for high school, oh, I played in front of a tiny congregation. I played in a small church for about 30 people. And I have played for a large congregation Easter Sunday with 1,500, 2,000 people. 
if you play the bass, you will get the chance to gig. Now mine goes up and down by how many bass players there are. There's like four to six bass players playing in regular rotation at my church now. So I'm not in the rotation quite as often as I used to be, probably once every four or five weeks, but there's attrition and someone will come, someone will go, and then I'll be back every other week. Like you just don't know because it really depends on other people's availability and their breaks. But if you're the bass player, you are gonna get to play. So those are my top five reasons to become a bass player. What are your reasons? If you already play bass, why did you become a bass player? Or I want you to leave down below, what were your five reasons that you decided to play bass? Why do you think other people should play bass? Because I think there needs to be more bass players. I mean, some of us have to rest someday. Now I have some videos here with more tips and tricks for playing bass. So please hang on, start this video right here and enjoy.